morning, friend. It's Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative. And I've got an old friend that I met in Asheville, North Carolina. His name is Nathan Oxenfeld. Can you hear me, Nathan? I can hear you loud and clear, yes. Yay. The wonders of technology. It's fascinating. Now, you're no longer in Asheville, you said. You moved over more towards the ocean. That's right. Yeah, I'm not in the mountains anymore. Uh, I started my, my vision practice in Asheville and lived there for about four years and Got a chance to meet you there while our, our paths crossed. And uh, do you, yeah, now, do, you rem- do you remember how we met? Yeah, you came to my rescue in the in the parking garage. <laughs> it's funny. You said you got any jumper cables. I said I'm from Minnesota. We've all got jumper cables. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was funny because I was just trying to think of that. Um, I was like, did we meet at like a networking event or something? And then that that memory popped back in my head of, uh, of you jump starting my car <laughs> to help me get out of the garage. <laughs> there you go. So let's talk a little about what you do. Are you still single, married, kids? What happened? Yeah, I'm single. Okay. Yeah. Hear that, ladies? <laughs> okay. <laughs> but you're coming here to Minneapolis, my hometown, and you've got this course or this uh, program you're going to be introducing here. And I'll, I'll kind of preface a little bit, and you can kind of correct me if I'm wrong, but it's called like eye yoga. And I believe that it's kind of like exercising the muscles in the eyes so they can refocus and and you can see again, so you don't need, because I'm still using, I'm using these peepers. You're going, oh, stop it, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's right. It is, um, that, that's a, a very good, easy way to explain it, especially um, if people have never heard of anything, you know, like this before. Um, one correction I would add is that it is absolutely about kind of exercising the eyes in a certain way and activating all of the muscles in and around the eyes. But I would say even the bigger key about it is all about relaxation. So that, and, and if you think about yoga, that's kind of, there is some strength, you know, training built into yoga. Um, but a big element of yoga is also rest and relaxation. You know, a lot of people take like the restorative yoga or their favorite pose is the Shavasana at the end of the class. Um, so yeah, a lot, a lot of times people's problem with their eyes is similar to other parts of their body. It's it's stress related, okay. strain related, tension, tightness, constriction, lack of circulation. Okay, so, that makes a lot of sense. That if you can just relax, you, your your body knows what it's supposed to be doing, and this the tension is what might create bad eyesight. You got to relax. Yeah, because I used to have bad eyesight from squinting and straining and these bad vision habits that temporarily did make my vision clearer. Like when I was a kid and I couldn't see the board in the front of the classroom, you know, I would squint and strain and that would clear up a little bit. But then when I would stop squinting, it would just get blurry again. Sure. So what I teach is, is trying to, uh, you know, I try and help people figure out a totally different way to focus. Kind of like you said, you know, your eyes can figure it out on their own if we can sort of relax and take a step back and let our intelligent visual system turn back on and, and get back into sort of the autofocus um, I'm a photographer, you know, and I've watched your recent, uh, some of your digital <laughs> photography stuff. And, you know, the, the eye is similar to a camera in, in, in a lot of ways. And we are supposed to have the autofocus function on. But I think when we switch over to the manual focus and we try and manipulate it or force our eyes to focus, that's actually when we kind of throw it out of, out of balance. Now, does a lot of that have to do with these things? That's, I mean, that's, that's a big component for sure. And, uh, it's kind of interesting because the ophthalmologist who uh, founded this holistic approach to eye care, Dr. Bates, he lived 100 years ago and didn't have to deal with any of these screens or you know technology. Um, but you know, even back then, people were reading reading books all the time and stuff like that. So, but yeah, the the screens are are huge for the eyes. Well, it makes know, it makes sense in the like like in the olden days with the newspaper, you had your headline, then you had your type, and it was all the same type and basically the same kind of headline. Whereas this is look at that. I got a big giant 1007 thing here and then the little types. Your eyes must be going. Yeah. Know. And also, you know, when you're looking at a print, it's the light is striking the print and reflecting off of it into your eyes. All these screens are actually sources of light. So it's oh, yeah. backlit. And it's like a flashlight shining right into the eye. So it's a, yeah, it's a totally different experience. And my easiest you know tip for that is just to look away from the screens as much as you can remember. You know, so this, it's not that bad to look at screens, you know, throughout the day. But if you can just remember to 
look away from them, look out, you know, I have a window right over my computer here. So mm -hmm. multiple times as we're talking, you know, you might notice that, you know, I look up away from the screen to focus far away and then come back and look at you. So I'm not just going to be staring at you the whole time. So, no offense. so <laughs> I don't want to blind you with my brightness. <laughs> Well, let's move kind of into what uh, what started all this. Is you're coming to town and you're going to share some of these things with people, and you're coming to it's a it's going to be in the Linden Hills area because I know the area. It's at Lake Harriet Spiritual Community. But what date is it, and what time is it? Yeah, so I'm um, coming up to Minneapolis for the first time. Never been there before. Really excited. And uh, yeah, I'll be up there in just a couple of weeks on the the workshop. It's a four hour workshop on Saturday, May nineteenth from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. So it's, it's, it's a good chunk of time. And, you know, we're going to have a little break in there. So sure. uh, don't, don't be afraid about the time commitment. But, um, yeah, it's going to give us plenty of time to cover a lot of really good material, a lot of hands-on stuff, you know, mm -hmm. showing you some practices that you can continue to do after the workshop as well. Um, but it, it, this, this event is kind of kicking off my uh, book tour. Um, I just, this past weekend, submitted the new version of my book i've got the original version that i published back in 2015 uh -huh. and i've added a lot to it over the past three years and uh so that should be available pretty soon and then i'm going to be coming to minneapolis and i'm going to be driving up and down the east coast doing some events from richmond virginia okay. up to maine and back so so um, is, it, is there an know, easy to remember web domain where people kind of check this out and get a preface of what you're going to be talking about yeah, yeah, it's all listed on uh, my website, integraleyesight.com slash tour. So, integral, so integral, in, integral, yeah, integral eyesight. eyesight. Integral eyesight. Got it. Yeah. So you did this tour earlier, didn't you do a tour somewhere? Uh, yeah, so when I uh, released the, the, the last edition of the book, um, that prompted a big cross-country road trip I where I was that. gone for three months. Uh, yeah, all over the place. So... The second, you know, I, I learned some lessons from that first book tour. It was amazing and uh, had a lot of good, good events, met some awesome people. Um, but I was like, if I'm going to do this again, I want to kind of do it on a little bit more concentrated scale, not the entire country. <laughs> so I'm doing an East Coast one. You know, I'm doing the Minneapolis one first and then the East Coast one in June. And I'm going to do sort of a smaller Pacific Northwest one in the fall. That makes sense to, instead of bopping all across, kind of concentrate. I remember years ago when I was doing my magic full time, I booked a bunch of elementary school tours and they uh, ended up being, you got to go way up here, then way down there and way over here and way over here. And I was like, I should have made a more of a line. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, like I said, I don't do these too long because I want people to be able to digest this in just a few minutes. And uh, I will put links on there um, on the Thing and I beam it out there, and then if you could share it too, that'd be much appreciated. And we can do another one of these uh, between now and then if you want, and or after when you do your tour. I love doing these things. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It's it's. Uh, I'm excited. I love traveling, and I love you know doing these events and and meeting people who are interested in you know finding just maybe a, an a alternative to glasses or contacts or surgeries because. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I mean, I use this stuff personally for myself. You know, I wore my glasses and contacts for almost 15 years and never knew that there were these eye yoga things or holistic eye care things. And <laughs> it just really transformed, you know, my life and my vision. And now I don't need to use them anymore. So it's been really cool to share that with people and, and help people kind of get out of that sort of vicious cycle of being, you know, really addicted to the glasses and contacts right. and stuff. So. Yeah, it can be frustrating because I, I know that I use these peepers once in a while and uh, when you don't have them, all of a sudden you got to read something, you got to run over and get, you know. Uh. So it's a good thing you're doing. I like it. It's good that you got good eyesight because Minneapolis is a beautiful place and you'll be able to come here and maybe we can walk around a lake together and I would love, I'd love catch, to catch up. up. All right. Okay, thanks, Nathan. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you very much, Brad. I hope you have a great one. Peace.